Hello, good afternoon, my dear brothers and sisters in Christ. Here I am again. I'm going to post today one vision. This was shown to me on October 29, 2010. I have drawn it here. Here appeared a black three islands and in my vision the one at the left side extreme left side was underwater and disappeared and then it was followed by the second black island that is beside it also was completely underwater and disappeared to be seen no more and then lastly the one at the right that is a bit bigger island and also was completely uncovered underwater and then disappeared to be seen no more so prophetic word is this just as in the time of noah so shall it be again this event will surely come to pass this was shown so that the people can be warned Surely the Sovereign Lord does nothing without revealing His plan to His servant. And this servant wants the people for God, Yahweh and the Son, Yahushua, HaMashiach, Jesus Christ, the Messiah, is the only Savior. And He has pity on His people. So, may this be a warning to all all the people, especially the island nations. Remember and understand that no prophecy of scripture come by the prophet's own interpretation. For prophecy never had its origin in the will of man, but holy men of God spoke as they were carried along by the Holy Spirit that is found in the Bible, second book of Peter, chapter 1, verse 20. And about the disappearance of these three island nations, the prophetic word is that from book of Isaiah, chapter 24, verse 18, which says, Whoever flees at the sound of terror will fall into a pit, Whoever climbs out of the pit will be caught in his snare. The floodgates of the heavens are opened. The foundations of the earth shake. So that is the verse that proves this was foretold long, long time ago, and it will come to pass for sure. So, as a warning, forearm is forewarned. This is a call to repentance. That is the only way to counteract this coming catastrophe. Repent and seek God's glory in worship, for He may be found. Lord Jesus' redeeming love is so great that He gives the spirit of repentance and grace to those who come to Him with humble heart. And Acknowledge Him as Lord, as true God, one with His Father, Yahweh, 
the Holy One of Israel. He is the only Savior. So we have to seek Him because He is very much alive. He just wait for you to come. He wants you not to perish on judgment day. So, that is the word of God, and you have the choice. God has given us a free will to choose which one to take. So, God wants a genuine repentance so that you will be forgiven and it is manifested by tears in eyes that is proven. So that's all. I will pray for you as you seek the Lord with all your heart, with all your soul and strength that he may touch your soul and get saved. He loves you unconditionally, no matter uh, what sins you have that is forgivable to him. You just come to him in humility, ask for his mercy, confess all your sins, and then you will get saved. The time is running short now. So, don't delay your decision, your choice, because the time is running out. You must be baptized by the fire of the Holy Spirit, that is the fire of deliverance, so that you are delivered from darkness to light, you turn from the power of Satan to the power of God so that you will be born again, which is the requirement for salvation of soul. So, that's all. May the sweet blessings of the Lord be with you in this mighty name of Yahshua Mashiach, Jesus Christ the Messiah. I love you all. Bye. Amen.